Hello everyone and welcome to the next topic of RF awareness. In this we are going to discuss about ionizing versus non-ionizing EME awareness. So non-ionizing radiation does not bring sufficient energy so that it can smash the molecular bonds and ionize items like radio frequency radiation. Whereas ionizing radiation it is the type of the radiation that holds that much of energy to smash the bond between molecules and ionize various atoms like cosmic rays or x-rays. This is the difference between the non-ionizing and ionizing radiation. We can see the difference like UV, x-ray, gamma rays, they are under the ionizing one. Then we are having a visible light, infrared, microwave, radio and extremely low frequency, they are under the non-ionizing one. So, under non-ionizing, we have non-thermal and thermal. Visible light ranges in the optical ranges and then we are having a ionizing one which is broken bonds. And non-thermal has low current, static field. Thermal induces high current, heating, AM, FM, Wi-Fi under this. Radiation is basically arranged as a spirit, either non-ionizing or ionizing. Non-ionizing radiation is further extended. Now wavelength, lower frequency energy while ionizing is small wavelength, high frequency and higher energy. So ionizing radiation has enough energy so that it can fabricate ions in the matter of molecular level. So if that matter is human notable damage, it can result or plus harm to the DNA and proteins. This is not say that non-ionizing radiation can't cause injury to humans but injury is generally limited to thermal damage like burns. So this is the difference between the ionizing and non-ionizing EME. Thank you.